Does your patient need to be intubated? Well, here's how to tell. If you're like me, you've probably stood at the bedside looking at your patient going, I wonder if it's time or do you think they can hold on? Here's four different rules to kind of trigger your brain to say that maybe it's time to start considering an intubation. The first thing to watch out for is whether or not they can put a sentence together. If they can't speak more than a couple words at a time, it's kind of a red flag and you should be watching them a lot more closely. Number two is gonna be accessory muscle usage. Are they trying to use other muscles to help them breathe a little bit faster or breathe harder? Well, think about your belly or your neck. Are they struggling to try to breathe? Number three is gonna be if their SpO2 keeps dropping despite how much oxygen you put on. Make sure that the SpO2 monitor is working correctly with a good waveform, but if your level's still going down, that should be a red flag in your mind. And your last and your biggest warning is gonna be mental status changes. If they're starting to kind of fade on you, that's a problem, and we need to be thinking about what's the next step that we need to take immediately. Therefore, whenever all these signs start yelling at you, it's not time for a blood gas. It's time to start considering the next move. Because at the bedside, hesitation costs seconds that you don't have. And here's why you should always be asking, 